first of all, thank you guys so much for subscribing. We're getting closer to the 100 sub giveaway. Right now, it looks like we roughly need to double the number of subscribers. To encourage doubling the number of subscribers, I'm going to double the giveaway. We'll have two different winners and two different prize options. Each winner will be able to pick between their choice of either a Lance's Charizard Celebrations box as previously discussed, or a Dark Sylveon Celebrations box. I have two of each, and what that means is whichever boxes don't get picked, I'll be opening up in Celebration. Maybe this means I'll be opening one of each, or if both winners pick a Dark Sylveon box for example, I'll be opening up two Lance's Charizard boxes. Or. Maybe I'll just consider giving another away. You'll have to subscribe and stay tuned to see what happens with the giveaway. Now, for today's adventure, continuing with the Lucario luck from last week's Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box, today we have a Lucario V-Star Premium Collection. I got this box on sale from Game Nerds, and if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below on how you can get your own. Now, I want to make it very clear that I am not affiliated with Game Nerds, I'm not sponsored by them, and I will not make any money for anything purchased through the link. I just want to shout them out because I've purchased a few sets from them, and they usually have great prices, great staff to help you out, and they ship everything really well. If you like this box, then feel free to check it out. Now, getting into it, one thing I love about sets like these is you have guaranteed cards. There's never anything guaranteed in the booster packs, but what we do have guaranteed are these awesome Lucario V, V-Star, and Giant V-Star card. The V is maybe a little basic looking, but there's absolutely nothing basic about that V-Star card. I'm so glad they included a Giant version because it looks so great. Now, do you guys think they should keep making giant versions of cards like that? Because I need to get a binder for my giant cards, because I just have so many collecting up as the pin falls. But at the same time, all I can really do is collect them. We'll set the giant card aside for now. Get our booster packs out of here, all six of them. It looks like we have two Brilliant Stars, three Fusion Strikes, and one Chilling Rain. We've also got an Acrylic V-Star Marker, which is nice to see. We've got this great little pin featuring Lucario screaming. And we also have, back in the plastic, a nice Lucario coin that I'll fish out from here if I can get it out. There we go. That's a really dazzling looking coin. So we'll set everything aside and clear out space for our booster packs. Of course, we'll get one last look at that V-Star card. Let me gather everything up and move it into the magic void on the left. Actually, We'll hang on to this pin. We'll give it to Piplup and Arceus, Arceus, since we're not giving them any card packs today. They haven't really done their work with the last couple, so we're going to keep these all for ourselves. We might have better luck that way. We'll start by opening the Brilliant Stars and see what we get. Now... Maybe on the next ones I'll hide the code cards, because a white code card basically means we're not getting anything good in this set, or in this booster. A black code card would mean we are getting at least a hollow. So, the next couple boosters, I'll hide the code card at the start, we'll see what we get, and then we'll take a look at the code card afterwards. For right now, we have Energy, Floatzel, Sigilyph, Pachirisu, Milseri, Starly, a cute little bird, Ryulu, Staryu, Impidimp, another Impidimp, and Grimmsnarl. That's a pretty good booster. 
But now we'll move on to just the Fusion Strike. Now, once again, I will try my best to obscure the code card. Which is not that one. I've done a horrible job already. We'll just reveal the code card. <laughs> so it's at the front of the booster. I'll take note of that for you guys to see. We'll take four from the back, move it to the front, and next time I'll do better. We've got energy. We've got heat more. We've got cook, Morgrim, Plusle, Mana, Meowth, Meryl, Helioptile, and Aselgore and Arcanine. The Selgor is a nice reverse hollow, and the Arcanine, as the code card suggested, is not hollow at all. We'll set that aside and get right into the next one, which will be another pack of Brilliant Stars. So, now that I know the code card will be on this side, I'll make sure to obscure it better. Let's hide everything. I'm going to actually pull it out of frame and hide it from myself. Okay. One, two, three, four. Now I can't see it. I don't know what that code card is, but we'll look at it as soon as we get through the energy. Team yells cheer. Chinchino, cleansing gloves, core fish, sock, cheruby, clefairy, carablast, Starmy and a Kingler VMAX! That code card was a black one. That would have spoiled it, but I'm so glad we got something amazing without spoiling it. That is an awesome looking card. We'll set that aside and we'll go right into the next one. I actually liked how that turned out, so I'm once again going to do my best to hide that code card. Maybe that's good luck for us. I'll open this up, and I'll turn it upside down to pull this code card out, just to make sure I keep it out of frame. Ah, uh, it jumped in the frame there. <laughs> My bad. But we'll take our four from the back to the front. I mean, if you want to pause it and see it, you can, but we've got energy, power tablet, skaters park, togedemaru, carvana, clam pearl, Morpeko, Skarmory, Shelmet, Snorlax, and Meloetta. Now, I thought out of the corner of my eye, I saw a black and green code card, not a white and green one. So, I guess I fooled myself. Maybe I didn't fool you sharp-eyed viewers, but certainly tricked myself there. Alright, we'll try that again, only better this time. Getting that code card out of frame. What do you guys think? Do you like it this way? Do you like uh, me obscuring the code card on slightly older packs like these? Let me know in the comments below. We've got Togedemaru, Ninetales, Quickball, Meowth, Meryl, Helioptile, Wooloo, Gossifleur, Galarian Peserker, that's a cool looking card, and Golem. As it turns out, our code card was white and green. Now we've got one booster left, but we've gotten one good card out of this. This is our singular Chilling Rain pack that just happened to end up last. I didn't really go through them in any particular order. But we'll take it out. Our code card is black, so we'll just spoil that. <laughs> Maybe we've got something good in our Chilling Rain pack. We've got Energy, Haunter, Fire Resistant Gloves, Melanie, Bound Sweet, Lapras, Blitzel, Aaron, Deerling, A Nice Diglet, and. Peony! What a great full art trainer card that is. 
That is awesome. That's all the packs we have today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out our new Twitter page, which is at CollectibleADV, and the new Instagram page as well, over at Collectible Adventures. I'll have links below to make it easier. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have some great adventures of your own and get some great cards like these. I'll see you all next time.